for booking the appointment uh, uh, can you explain the, how you send me request for the booking okay so booking uh, uh, there will be one uh, in shikler view there will be a date and time available okay uh-huh. and based on they'll select that uh, date and time and uh-huh. we are uh, like from back end uh, in post api they having uh, patient, patient all the details like name okay is and all the data will be there and in that uh, we have one field uh, timings and date so that uh, we will send uh, send uh, through the post api mm-hmm. okay so so uh, the doctor application there will be two application right yes one is for patient one is for doctor and doctor can also suppose uh, you went to hospital and you wanted to come uh, after some time so doctor can also book through their doctor application Okay, so basically, when you uh, submit the request, uh, yeah. doc- doctor application will receive uh, yes. that request. Yeah. And uh, is there an option for doctor to accept or reject? No, no, no. It's not like that. Like you have booked some appointment for particular date, so all the patient list will comes to doctor when he will log in with his ID. Okay, so for example, there could be one use case like uh, they uh, there could be use case like slot is not available. Mm-hmm. so uh, how, how you managing in this use case slot uh, okay uh, suppose already is booked okay mm-hmm. so from back end uh, we are getting uh, one key okay mm-hmm. so in that key if the key is true then mm-hmm. that uh, particular uh, item will be disabled so it's not clickable okay so means it will be disabled before Uh, user, no, no, no. User, user will not be able to interact with yes yes it will be there only suppose uh, timing is 1 to 10 so the 5 is already booked so 5 will be the disable it uh, i mean that, that will be not uh, uh, user can't click on that it will be little bit in in this well okay i mean some so so uh, uh, all this color. slot will be for all individual doctors right uh, not for all doctors. Yes, yes. Based on doctor, he can select based on doctor, and he can book the appointment. So from the server, you will get the yeah different information yeah, yes, for yeah. each He's each doctor. and every doctor. Yes, yes. Okay, you just need to display in your in your application, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, you have worked on Kotlin also, right? Yes, yes. So, have you used the MBVM pattern in your application? Yes. So, can you just explain what is the MBVM yeah. pattern? In MBVM, we having a, a view, view model, and model class. Okay. Mm. So, mm. view will be, uh, I mean, user can interact through the view, and view model uh, in in model class we need to write all the business logic, and view model will be the bridge between model and view. Okay. Mm-hmm. Suppose user has clicked uh, one button and he want to fetch some result. So once he clicked the uh, button, it will goes to view model and then view model communicate to the uh, uh, model class. Okay. And in that, like uh, while we are writing, uh, we are making any application through the MBVM, it architecture will be a loose coupled. Okay. And the code will be very clean and all the model will be separate. So if uh, in future somebody wanted to Come at as a new team member. He can easily understand all the code flow and all. Okay, fine. So, so basically, uh, the, the, is there any the, uh, benefit of using the view model class? It is a very. Uh, I mean, it's a loose coupled. So, suppose you have integrate. Uh, suppose you have one application. In that, you uh, first time when you have uh, published to the Play Store, you had only one feature that will be. It was the calculator. That feature was only adding but in after some time you wanted to add some multiplication division subtraction so easily you can do do that okay okay so and live data object good pattern yes live data is like uh, from uh, it's always uh, bear the life cycle and uh, suppose uh, in back end some changes is happen in database so that it changes it will directly reflect to the view okay 
So, um, uh, have you used a uh, coroutine concept? Yes. Uh, coroutines is a lightweight thread. Okay, and uh, uh, it's a uh, perform a synchronous uh, task. Okay, suppose like we having two methods. Okay, and uh, hello. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. So suppose we having two method and uh, we we are executing both method. Okay. So uh, first method it was uh, going to execute, but because of some reason first method got halt for some time. Okay. So the control will goes to uh, B. Because it won't wait for A to complete, then it will control should go to B. It directly goes to B, and B will perform his task. Then again control comes to A. So it's like coroutine is cooperative. It cooperate to execute uh, task, and it can create uh, multiples of single thread. Okay, so you mean that in single thread, multiple tasks will be running in parallel. Yeah. Okay. And for example, suppose we have requirement like one task is dependent on the other task. Yeah. So in that case, how how will you achieve using coroutine? For for example, that two tasks A and B. Uh, and first A should mm. complete, then it should move to the second task. Mm. So, so this in uh, this use case, how will you handle using coroutine? Uh, this case, uh, we need to write. Uh, I mean, in same method. Okay. Uh, like we need to perform two tasks, so we need to write in same method. So it perform. I mean, it it consider as a one method only. So one task only. Yeah. So you mean the suspend? You can write inside the suspend function. Yeah. And the inside the suspend function, everything will be executed in the sequential order. Yeah. Good. Okay. So um, Jetpack, any Jetpack uh, new library? Have you tried? Yeah, yeah. Jetpack? Jetpack component only I have used like in that navigation graph, drive data, busy, and data binding. And uh, have you gone through the latest feature of Android 11? No, not yet. See, but there will be. I think based on you know, security, I have not read any documents. Okay. And uh, so, so basically, you have completely moved to the Kotlin from Java, right? Uh, no, I know Java also because in our company there are around six to eight product is there. Okay, product and service they are providing in different different hospital. So not all project written in Java are quarterly. So some project are in Java also. Like Fortis is our oldest project. So in that everything is written in Java. So sometime if I'll get some task on uh, that Fortis uh, application, so I need to work with Java. Okay. 